Hi, I'm Randy for another installment of Fried Eggs. Uh, so you just got your new R15 driver and it's awesome. But uh, you might have bought it off the rack and you forgot to uh, get custom fitted for it. Anyway, now you don't know how to adjust the driver to make it fit for your swing. So I'm gonna briefly go over a couple of the adjustments on the new R15 driver and give you a chance to kind of optimize your ball flight. First thing I wanna do is I wanna talk to you about finding the proper loft because as well with the R15 as it was with the SLDR, uh, TaylorMade really, really wants you to loft these drivers up because the weight is now so far forward and so low on the front of these drivers, the higher you can get the launch to be, the lower you can have the spin, the greater distance you're going to have. So first and foremost, we're going to talk about the loft setting on the bottom of the golf club. Uh, just, just like the SLDR driver does, it will unscrew completely from the head. And when you take the head off of the shaft here, you'll see printed on here uh, negative amounts of degrees, positive amounts of degrees going from standard loft to lower loft. You're first going to want to hit the driver in the standard position. Once you give a couple shots there, you can see your trajectory, see your ball flight, hopefully with a launch monitor. But if not, eyeball it the best you can. Uh, once you've dialed in the ball flight you like, so this is a 12 degree driver, and let's say I just want to back the loft down a degree to an 11 degree. We set it in. We're going to make the uh, wrench click here to know that it's uh, secured tightly to the club. The reason I like to adjust the loft first is because regardless of what TaylorMade tells you, when you raise loft on the driver, it will make it more draw bias. When you lower loft on the driver, it will make it more fade bias. It will open and close the face. We set that first. You find the trajectory you like. Now all of a sudden you got a little bit of a fade or you got a little bit of a draw. Well, luckily they've added two 12 gram weights on the bottom of this driver to help you adjust for that. What you're gonna do is slightly loosen these. Do not take them all the way out because they are a pain to get back in and you can see that they hover back and forth fairly easily. So they'll come shipped from the factory neutral right in the middle of the golf club. This is designed to give you max weight on the bottom of the golf club for low spin and hopefully you've got the right launch angle so this is, a, this is your formula for distance. Now if you do have some fade problems, some draw problems, let's say you have uh, some draw problems where you're, you're hitting the ball too far left. You can take both weights and you can slam them all the way up towards the toe making it max fade bias. When you do that uh, you can start to back down that, that middle weight there to kind of give you less and less fade but that's kind of the extreme. You can also take it all the way down to draw bias if you're hitting a big fade, big banana fade on there. Take it all the way down to draw bias, same thing. You can take the center weight kind of back it towards neutral to kind of find that happy medium where you want to be. Or if you're hitting the driver fairly straight, uh, or it's going left and it's going right, you don't have you have con consistency issues. You can take these both weights, spread them all the way from fade one all the way to draw. And what this does is it increases the driver's MOI, moment of inertia, putting weight on each end of the club, making it more stable through impact, giving you more forgiving shots. Once again, thanks for watching Fried Eggs. Uh, if you have any questions, please send them to Bobix at bobixgolf.com or visit us at bobixgolf.com to check out all the 2015 TaylorMade products. Thanks. Bye.